Now, activists in Bahrain say more detainees have gone on hunger strike to protest against the ongoing trials of medical staff. The Bahrain Centre for Human Rights says at least 20 doctors are now refusing to eat. They were among the hundreds of activists arrested in a government crackdown earlier this year. There have also been reports of several anti-government protests across the country on Friday. This amateur video appears to show dozens of men in the village of Nudwadrat calling for the Bahraini king to step down. Al Jazeera can't independently verify the authenticity of the footage. But let's speak to Nabil Rajab, who's from the Bahrain Centre for Human Rights, who joins me on the line from Manama now. Uh, good to have you with us. Uh, first of all, tell us about the hunger strikes that are going on and what exactly uh, they are meant to achieve. Well, as you know, doctors and uh, human rights defenders, uh, politicians are in hunger strike now, protesting that they be civilian and tried by uh, before military court. They're protesting that they should be tried in before civil court instead of the military court. Now joining them, members of their family, so we have tens of people since the past few days are joining the hunger strike. Especially, we don't see a political solution to our political crisis going on, although the government have used their military and security means and martial law or uh, uh, martial law since the past three months or four months, but they end up with no political solution. So we start seeing again people protesting inside the prison, people protesting in the street. Almost half of the country were blocked a few days ago, either by the security institution or by the protester. So we are back uh, to day number one as we started in uh, mid-February that uh, we are witnessing an uprising calling for democracy and human rights. And unfortunately, I don't see a near solution to the political crisis going on on Bahrain. Well, as far as the street protests go, do you think that we will see the kind of protests in terms of size and intensity that we saw earlier this year? Is there a public appetite for that after the crackdown? Well, yes, but the problem is that you have to take something into consideration. Those uh, protests which attended by hundreds of thousands, you can't practically have it now because of the government repression and they fired them and they fired them from their work, uh, from their school, university, detaining thousands of people. So what we are seeing now, we see hundreds of different protests at the same time happening in tens of cities, areas and villages. And, and they get attacked the moment they started people get arrested, houses being raided and uh, looted and robbed by the security institution and the uh, villages being uh, surrounded by security institutions. So we're seeing a clash is going on in tens of villages on a nightly basis in every part of uh, Bahrain. It's not like one central protest as we do have in February and March. Uh, and just briefly, is there any sign at all that uh, any of the Bahraini leadership are prepared to talk about political concessions or changes? I think, uh, I mean, if there is a real uh, credible initiative by government to, for reconciliation, yes, I think we will find. But we start, we start seeing more people calling for the removal of the whole regime. Since they see no political solution coming out of this regime, they're using the same process, the same military and security means by repressing people. But I think if there is a political solution, yes, there will be part, a big part of the opposition willing to reconcert. Thank you very much indeed for uh, speaking with us. Nabil Raja from the Bahrain Centre for Human Rights.